Hi Stampers, it's Tina Shaw from TinaLovesToStamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Fairborn, Ohio since 2005. So, this is the third card from this week's club kit. Um, and I have focused on the Butterfly Stamp Set Butterfly Br Brilliance. And I have two because I bought one and cut out the single butterflies so I could stamp those individually. Because this is how it originally comes. is like one big stamp. And this one is if you want to do them all at once. And then you can cut them out all at once. It is really pretty neat. So, and then you have all these other little beautiful um, detailed dies. Anyway, I then um, am going to show you this card. Let me show you the other two. I did this one yesterday and then I did this one. I think I did it a few days ago, but it's also in this week's class. Isn't that so cute? That one and then this one is the butterfly closure, which opens up and has the butterfly that is through the little slot. Isn't that cute? Okay, and then today, this one is a fun fold butterfly brilliance card. And this one, the these butterflies are actually cut out from the designer series paper that is called Butterfly Bio or Bayou. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. But anyway, um, the die also cuts out the butterflies in the designer series paper, which is awesome. So that's what I did. And I used, this is the second to the largest butterfly. And then this one I think is the smallest. So anyway, you open the card up like this and then like that. Today, I'm going to use, instead of putting my um, greeting down here, I'm going to have a smaller piece up here. I also got this idea from Karen Titus as well. And um, today, I'm changing it up just a little bit. Of course, you know me. So, let's get started. Today, I'm using Pool Party cardstock. This is four and a quarter inches by 11 scored at four and a fourth and eight and three fourths and then you're going to fold it on those fold lines and then you're going to take your bone folder i haven't done yet and you're going to make those nice crisp folds so it will want to lay down nicely okay so i think that should do that and today i'm using the designer series paper from the art gallery set and this is called fine art floral beautiful beautiful backgrounds and flowers that go with that stamp set but i wanted a different color today i wanted this pretty pool party so anyway this piece is cut at four by four and i'm going to attach that to this piece so let's go ahead and do that with my Stampin' Seal. The other side is really pretty too on this one, but it has flowers that are just gorgeous that um, I didn't want to use this time. I might use them next time, but it'd be a whole different color. I think that one would be Night of Navy. Okay, so there's my bottom piece. And then up here, I have a piece that is cut two by four inches. So that's going to fit right on this top piece like that. You could mix it up, but with my butterflies, it's just too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the painted plain side. I think it's so pretty. The muted pool party is gorgeous. Okay, so let's get this even here try to all right so there's the basics of my card so now i'm going to take a two inch punch and i'm going to open this up 
and I'm going to come and open this side up and I'm going to push this in here and I'm going to put the circle in the center of the fold line here. So I want to take it up. I don't know that I want to go the whole way. I just want to go over a little ways because I want it to be on the right side. So I'm thinking about like right there. And now I have to really punch this one hard. And so now it looks like that. Now I'm taking a piece of pool party paper and I have also cut this one out at two inches with the same circle punch. And this time I'm going to take it and I'm gonna put it down here. This piece you can't use because it's folded and scored. So I'm going to use my seal and I'm gonna put this on the bottom half quite a bit. So now I'm gonna bring this back over here and I'm just gonna make sure that that glue seal is down on that side right there and give it a nice rub. So then when I open it up, then that'll come through there like that. Okay. Now I have a one and three fourths inch circle that I also used from my punch, my one and three fourths inch circle punch. Those are both available in the annual catalog. And this time I want to use dimensionals to pop this piece up onto my pool party circle. It's sticking. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to put that in the center, more or less. And now I have this butterfly, and then I've cut out two little butterflies. Let me show you how I did this. So you can see I'm at my scan and cut machine. This is a piece of the designer series paper from the Butterfly Bio DSP. And this one has all these other smaller butterflies on it. And I wanted to cut these out without having to hand cut all of them. So what I have done is I have scanned my paper in my machine and then I have edited out all of the little scrap pieces that I don't want cut out. And now I'm going to say, okay, and okay. And now I'm going to select, I want to cut these out and start. And this says it will take a few minutes to do. So we'll watch it for a couple of minutes and then we'll just go back. Oops, here's one of my last ones. <laughs> it's a baby butterfly. And it's awesome because it just does all the work for you. Cuts them out perfectly. Just like that. I love this machine. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video until it's almost finished and then I'll show you when I take it off. Let me move that just a smidge and there we go. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're getting close to the bottom of the paper here and it's been meticulously cutting out all these tiny little butterflies. Now remember, for the bigger butterflies, they can be cut out using the dies. Check that. Yeah, brilliant wings dies, which are these. But for the ones on the tiny ones on the DSP, you would cut those out by hand, or of course you could use them um, on your cards, just the piece of paper on your cards. Either way, it's adorable. So anyway, I would just want to show you how now it's done. So I'm gonna take my little spatula here and just lifting up 
And here are all of my little butterflies cut out. Isn't that just so cool? <laughs> I love it. So anyway, that's how you cut out if you what, got that little half of one that's cute. I must have missed that in my editing. <laughs> anyway, that's how you use your scan and cut to just cut out the little images that don't have dyes. So now we've got lots of little butterflies to add to some more cards. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions on the scan and cut, just uh, leave me a comment and I will get back with you. Okay, let me move this back to my desk. All right. So now I'm back to my desk and I'm going to take the big butterfly and I'm going to put it on so it's just partially covering the tip of the top piece like that and I'm going to use dimensionals and I'm going to put it on one, these three parts right here because I don't want it on the tip of the wing on the left side because that is what holds down the top of the card like that. So I put him at an angle and then there that holds that down. Isn't that cute? Who designed that? I don't know, but they are so smart. So now I have a couple more of these that I just cut out on my skin and cut. And so now I'm going to use mini dimensionals. Here they are. The mini dimensionals. So I'm gonna put this one over here like that and then I think I'll have this one up here like that and I can kind of bend the wings up just a smidgen because it's not gonna hurt anything at all okay so there's those and that one and now I have a strip of basic white cardstock this is yeah four inches by three fourths of an inch that I'm going to stamp on and I'm going to stamp thanks and I'm going to use my Momento black ink pad and I'm just going to stamp that right towards the edge down using my seal And I just want this piece to be this in here. I just want this piece to be right here. And I'm going to leave just a little edge of the blue showing like that. Let's try to curl my butterfly. And now I love bling. So I'm going to add some of the holiday rhinestones. They are my number one item right now. I buy these constantly because they are so gorgeous. <laughs> so let's just put on, I got a booba right there. Let's put it there. Okay. Now well, let's put on another one. Where, where, where? How about down here? Here we go. Okay, so there's that. And then I also would like to add a pearl because, you know, butterflies, you have to have pearls, right? Unspoken. You have to have pearls with butterflies. Don't know why. It's just what I say. There we go. Oh, look how cute. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so now I'm going to open up my card. And I'm going to put my piece that goes on the inside, piece that's three and a fourth by four inches. And this time I'm going to stamp, you make the ordinary extraordinary. And these two stamps came from the Simply Succulent stamp set there and there, these two. Printing and cursive in the same Stamp. I think that makes it just darling. 
so let's just put this here. Okay, that looks good. And now I think I also want to add one of my small little butterflies. You could use the ones you just cut out, or you could add ta ta. Isn't that so cute? I think it's adorable. Okay, so now let's just put some seal on the back of that piece and then we will attach it right here. Isn't that pretty? I love this blue. I love pool party, one of my faves. So there we go and there we go. So that is my Fun Fold Butterfly Brilliance card and here was the first one here's the second one i hope you loved all the butterfly cards this week i hope you will give them a try i hope you will subscribe to my youtube channel and join me on my blog thank you so much and have a great week bye